Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in Kandolim, which is one of the most famous places in Goa, and we are going to be doing a virtual tour for you guys. I'm going to go around, show you guys what shops are open, what cafes are open, and basically what it looks like right now, guys. So let's go and check it out. Okay, guys. So we are starting off our virtual tour from here, which is the junction in Kandolim. So if you turn to the left, we would be turning towards Sinkerim Beach, and if we turn to the right. Right, we will be turning towards uh, Kandalim. So this is the famous Abe Faria statue here. So guys, I want you to feel like you are on this virtual tour with me. So we are going to be riding around the full of Kandalim. We are going to be checking out the beach. We are going to be checking out the shops and everything that is open here. And I'll also be explaining some nice restaurants and stuff. So first thing we have here is the Kandolim Deck, which is a really good restaurant that I personally like. And on the right here, we have another good restaurant called Fat Panda. So if you want to try some really good Asian food, then you can try that out. So a lot of the shops are now opened up here. So if you see like you'll have a lot of these touristy things available like clothing and stuff for tourists and also you'll find a lot of tourists here. So it's around 12.30 in the afternoon right now and yeah so there is not a lot of traffic at this time because usually people get up quite late and then start going out around afternoon time have their lunch and then head out to the beach or whatever so in between it rains guys at the moment it is a little overcast if you can see the clouds up, up ahead but otherwise it is a beautiful weather here in Goa it's it's not humid at all so it's nice and cool at the moment so over here on the right you'll have a lot of these shops like Fab India and United Colors of Benetton and on again we on the right here we will have another supermarket which is called the Delfino supermarket it's a very popular supermarket you can buy alcohol and stuff from them so okay there are foreigners in this place which is surprising but Yes, there are quite a lot of foreigners that have come in to go out off late in these days from other parts of India means they probably work in other parts of India but they can come here right now for this beautiful season the monsoon season so that's the fisherman's cove on the right and we will be heading on to Moradwado which is the Kandalim beach road so here on the right you have Newton supermarket if you want to buy alcohol they have a huge range of alcohol especially if you want to buy champagnes wines and things like that guys they have a huge collection this is a restaurant called Portuguesa so they have a like seafood and multi cuisine and here you have tomatoes which is a really nice place look at the vibe here this is really cool they have a nice vibe here, yeah, so now we are moving on to Moradwado here, which is on the left, and this is basically the entrance to the Kandalim Beach. So here you'll see they have some wine stores, uh, tattoo shops are open here, and as we go up ahead, we should be getting more shops. See this. So, of course, it is not as full as season time, guys. But you will see that there are things here to do. I mean, like you can shop, you can go to restaurants. You can go to a couple of bars here and chill out. Uh, Kandalim is not as happening as Kalangut or Baga right now. So, if you go to Kalangut or Baga right now, it is quite full. So in future episodes we will be doing virtual tours of Baga and Kalangut as well. So you guys can see what it looks like. 
there. So this is Azura, which is a restaurant on the left, which is open. So today is quite a dull day in the sense it is going to rain a little bit later in the in a few minutes from now maybe half an hour from now so because the breeze is pretty strong right now so guys this is the entrance to the Kandalim beach so as you can see there are not many people here and the things have not opened up here the shops there are a few shops that are open at the moment there but otherwise you if you've come here in season time you would know that this place is usually packed so what we'll do is we'll head back towards the main Kandalim road again and then we will head towards Baga and Kalangut so Kalangut comes first guys so we will head towards Kalangut and we'll just go slowly here so you can see a few of the shops what it's like and so if you're planning a trip to Goa you would know what to expect so we will speed up a bit because we've already seen most of this but yeah guys so in season time all these shops are full and you will have like a lot of things to do here but as of now this is in August 2021 a couple of tourists buying some clothes yeah so there are quite a few tourists here and there but on the weekend like Saturday Sunday there are a lot of people so if you want rented bikes or anything guys they are available like most of the things are open for like if you want to rent a bike you want to rent a car those things you can do please do not drink and drive guys because uh, of course there's a fine for it and yeah it's not safe also so make sure not to drink and drive so over here there's a place on the right called the village bakers so this is a really nice place to come and try out some uh, breads and stuff like that if you want some croissants and french breads then you'll really like that place and they have also good sandwiches and coffees and of course yeah it's just a nice cafe to chill out on the left here you have the Kalangut or oh, sorry Kandolim football ground I don't know if it's Kalangut or Kandolim football ground but yeah coming up ahead here will be the famous CCD which is used to be a very popular cafe back in the day CCD which is cafe coffee day on the left here but right now it doesn't look like what it used to be it's pretty run down this is the Goodwin Hotel here So guys if you recognize any of these places on the way please do comment below anything that you recognize so here we also have another big wine store which is Lavande supermarket they also have a huge alcohol collection Uh, guys, guys buses are available so if you want to take a bus and go from the beaches around here you can take a bus the bus standard cost is 15 rupees and bus frequencies are every about every 15 minutes you should be able to get a bus 
So if you want to go from like Kandolim Beach to Kalangut Beach or something like that, then you can use the bus facility for like an economical way of moving around if you don't know how to drive or anything. Here yeah, there is a restaurant called Noah. So if you like sushi and stuff like that, they make really good sushi. This is the Novotel Hotel here. Now this is one of my favorite hotels in uh, Kandalim. So my wife always tells me that you should keep you should go there and stay for a day because I always liked the hotel. I've never stayed there but I've always found it fascinating that I always liked that so much. So here they have this nice play, shopping place which they have so many outfits like ladies dresses so there must be like 20 mannequins outside at that place so here on the right we have the what is the name of this hotel lotus hotel i think Over here, this is the Hyatt Centric Hotel, a very nice classy property. So guys, as we go up here, there are many of these smaller roads like this that go towards the beach. You can use any of the roads to go towards the beach. But please be careful because on those roads, some of these smaller roads have a lot of dogs and they sometimes run after your bike. So if you're renting a bike, just be careful sometimes. Just the other day, the dog nearly tore my jeans. So yeah, this is the main area we are almost heading into Kalangut so as we reach Kalangut guys there should be a lot of traffic so like Kalangut ha is known to have a lot more traffic than anywhere else in Goa right now so as you see the, here there is like there will be more people around On the right here, there is an outlet shopping mall. So if you want to buy like Nike, Puma and stuff like that. I don't know if it's an outlet, it's just... But most of the time that I come here, I always see that they have sales. So right now, everything's like 50%. But that is usually for mid-season, they have like 50% sales anyhow. On the right here, we will be... If you take the road towards the left here, you can go to the Park Hotel and on the right here is Decathlon which is a huge sporting goods store. So this is like this used to be the Kalangut Mall before but now it is the Decathlon sporting goods store and on the right side of the road there are lots of wine stores and cashew nut shops on this road here. So guys, the next video which is going to be out is the virtual tour of Kalangut. So if you would like to check that out, check please do check out my channel and the link also will be in the comment section so you can see what it looks like in Kalangut right now. So this is basically just to give you guys an idea what Goa looks like right now, what's the situation because every time people keep asking me guys, uh, Moses what's the situation here's Newton supermarket on the left and here on the right is Pizza Hut guys 
So, and they also have Navtara, which Navrata, which is a veg restaurant, uh, Navrata, here. So, if you're pure veg guys, I would recommend going there and getting some veg food. So, next episode is in the Kalangut area, guys. So, guys, that is it from here in Kandalem. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe, and I will be bringing you lots of other videos from here and go.